Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so now we finally finished most of the stuff inside of the uh, uh, as far as the slide goes. We'll go ahead and label it. Alright, so we've got most of this finished now. We'll come back and do some editing later. But now we finally have that finished, the hardest part. Um, uh, but we're still not done. Now, as sad as it makes you feel inside and everywhere else, you know, we're still not done. We have a handle to do, which really it's not as bad as it may seem. Alright, now that's fixed. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and start. Basically, we're just going to box model it all the way up through uh, to here. And then once we get about here, we'll do some chamfering and uh, we'll go ahead and make sure to get all this stuff looking about right. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make it just about the size of uh, the gun here. So okay, about that far. Okay, that's a little too big, but it's okay. Go ahead and scale it uh, just a tad bit. Probably about there would be good, right? Yeah, that's about good. Alright, now even though it's got a tilted angle to it, uh, we're not going to worry about that. We're actually just going to pull around vertices and stuff. Uh, the reason for that is because if we didn't just pull around verts and stuff, then uh, when you do some scaling, it's going to look a little weird. So go ahead and convert it to an editable poly. And uh, we're going to go ahead and also add just the same material to it. And we'll go ahead and use this and pull things up. Well, I just said and probably about seven times in <laughs> one, uh, one sentence. All right. So alt X this really quick and uh, make it so that way everything fits well. Alright, now um, this is a low poly gun. I don't know if I said that earlier. So all we're going to do is that instead of adding mesh moves and get it ready for high poly and stuff, we're just going to go ahead and uh, use smoothing groups for it. That'll make it a little bit uh, less polygon and uh, should still give a really good uh, looking uh, effect to it. So. Don't worry too much about the look. Uh, it'll look good. Okay. Extrude. So, uh, me personally, I'm all about the low poly. Uh, mostly because uh, I've done a few things for um, a few friends of mine who wanted mods and stuff. Alright, uh, so we've got that done. So let's go ahead and. I think we need to make this a little bit bigger here. So, I'm going to pull down these verts here. Hold down and hit the four button. And let's go ahead and select the top and extrude it across. It's too big. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a little too big. Uh, I think I picked the wrong one. Yeah, there we go. So let's just go ahead and we're going to extrude it three times across. Uh, the reason we're only doing it three times instead of, uh, or the reason we're doing it only three times, or I wish I could talk today, but the only reason we're doing it three times is because uh, we want to make sure that we leave a space right here for the trigger to be put in. Otherwise, it's going to look a little weird. Okay, I think that's a little off though. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. It's a little off. It's not really all that noticeable. Okay, so all right. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the uh, chamfer here. So loop and go ahead and chamfer this. It's, uh, then we got to pull this down though, because this is the first chamfer. And then. Right here, we got chamfer again, so we're gonna pull this up, and then we're gonna chamfer again. So, all right. So now you should have a nice uh, curved look over here on this side. Um, let's go ahead and take off Alt X really quick, and looks like I forgot to. Uh, I didn't choose the bottom. So hold on. All right. That's good. Go ahead and weld. First weld, we're going to go ahead and do big instead this time, instead of small. We're going to pull it down. 
then we'll select this again and we'll go ahead and chamfer it again. Alright, now you can notice that little thing there. Uh, it's actually really easy to fix. You're just going to clamp one, either, it doesn't matter which one really. Um, I'd probably say the top one is best. We'll just clamp it down like that. And you can either pull this up, alright, just give it a little up, or you can just leave it where it is. And uh, move this down maybe a little bit. Doesn't, it doesn't really matter, like I said. Either way is fine. Okay, but uh, what we're going to do now, go into edge mode, which if you don't know is two on your keyboard. And we're going to go ahead and bring this. And we're going to click uh, connect, make sure it goes all the way around though. Alright, so let's like that. Bring it. Hide unselected. Uh, so that way we can go ahead and make sure that we have everything selected here that we want. Alright. Go ahead and click connect. Click F4. Or just sorry, just four. And we're gonna delete the top half. So or the half closest to you, I think is what I'm trying to say. Alright, and if you don't get it all, go ahead and select that. Uh, but we want to make sure that this is, see, because that's only the bottom, so all we're going to do is set the cut on an angle like that. We're going to come to this viewport. And we're just going to uh, pull this all over this way. Just because of the way it was cut. There we go. Alright, uh, so now we got that. We're going to go ahead and connect this throughout, or, well, actually, I guess we don't connect it, we just Alt-C, and just go all the way through, and we're just going to plop it right there, that doesn't really matter. And now we'll do some more welding. Woohoo! I love doing welding, it's so fun. Alright, uh, there we go. And... Alright, so now what we got to do is we got to make the uh, trigger, so I'm going to unhide all, so let's go ahead and pause, alright, so now we've unhide all on, um, and we got to make this whole trigger thing there, okay, so first what we're going to do is we're going to click uh, this, we're going to pull this down just a tiny bit, you can actually move this over then, we're going to pull that down, um, and we're also going to pull it this way. And we're going to do the same thing all the way across till there. Um, then we're going to pull this up. And we'll just pull it straight across like that. And now it's time to uh, go ahead and make the trigger. So I'm going to open this up. And we'll look right here. And um, let's see. Okay, it looks like it comes right off here. And it's pretty small, actually. It's not as big as it uh, comes. So we're going to come in quite a bit for this. Um, and the way we're going to do this is by clicking the uh, 4 key, and we're going to select that, make sure to inset a bunch, probably about there, select that, delete it, and move this over, uh, doesn't really matter, you want to try to get it again straight in there, but a little bit over, a little bit off, won't really take uh, too much away from it. Go ahead and just use the extrusion tool, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do this, and we'll apply it one more time, okay. Uh, this is the only really part of the gun that might be a little bit higher poly than the rest, um, just because you want to make sure to get the trigger and stuff right, because that is always noticeable. Um, Alright, so let's keep moving this up. We'll rotate if we need to. Alt X this. Alright, uh, looks like we need to uh, scale this in a little bit as well, so that's what we'll do here. So we'll just scale. Uh, maybe a little bit more. And we're going to scale the rest of this in then. Okay, and we're going to now pull these all up. Just like that. So 